In the next three videos, we will walk you through the processes for developing stable, transfected cell lines using selection antibiotics. Developing stable cell lines involves three key steps, determining a kill curve, transfecting parental cells with a plasmid, and selecting the transfected cells. Before we begin, it is crucial to know the characteristics of the cell line you want to transfect to be sure that the selection antibiotic will work on your cell line. In these videos, we will be using CHO cells and the selection antibiotic G418 disulfate. It is important to note that commonly used HEC293T cell lines are resistant to G418 due to the presence of a neomycin resistance gene introduced during immortalization of HEC cells. In the first video, we will perform a kill curve to determine the optimal cell density for transfection and the minimal antibiotic concentration required for selecting transfected cells. For this step, we need cells detached according to standard cell culture procedures, culture medium, 15 milliliter tubes, a pipetter, pipettes, monochannels, tips, a 24 well plate, selection antibiotic, microtubes, needles, a vortex, a laminar flow, a microscope, and an incubator. First, we will seed parental cells at different densities to determine the cell density that gives us 80% confluency the next day. This cell density is ideal for transfection as the cells are in the proliferation stage and growing exponentially. Add 5 milliliters of culture medium to 3 15 milliliter tubes. Dilute the parental cells at a concentration of 50,000, 100,000, and 200,000 cells per milliliter. Add 500 microliters of each cell suspension to eight separate wells of the 24-well plate according to this scheme. Place the 24-well plate for 24 hours in a 5% CO2-controlled incubator at 37 degrees Celsius. After 24 hours of incubation, inspect the cells using a microscope to see which wells have 80% confluency. The wells with 80% confluency are optimal for maximum transfection efficiency. If the cell density is too low or too high, transfection efficiency and success will be much lower. The day after seeding, we will add the selection antibiotic at eight different concentrations to the eight wells with 80% confluency. For G418 disulfate and our CHO cells, we will use eight different concentrations from zero to 1,000 micrograms per milliliter. This concentration range will vary depending on the type of selection antibiotic and cell lines used. Prepare eight microtubes containing 500 microliters of culture medium and each of the eight different antibiotic concentrations. The growth medium containing the selection antibiotic is called a selection medium. Vortex each of the eight tubes. Remove the medium from each of the eight wells in the 24 well plate and replace the medium with 500 microliters of each of the eight selection medium concentrations to the corresponding eight wells. Place the 24 well plate for 24 hours in a 5% CO2 controlled incubator at 37 degrees Celsius. Examine cell death microscopically and choose the lowest concentration of antibiotic that kills all cells within 10 days. 
To maintain selective pressure, refresh the cells with freshly prepared selection medium every three to four days using the same initial concentrations as the cells will continually metabolize and eliminate the antibiotic. Most cells may appear to be dead, however, some cytostatic cells may remain. If cytostatic cells are present, choose the next higher concentration to ensure all cells are dead. If the well next to the well that kills all cells has a relatively high cell density, it may be necessary to repeat the experiment to narrow the antibiotic concentration range.